past few weeks, I've been noticing the smell of barbecues on the air and the heavenly fragrance of the trees in blossom. This week, we are celebrating Pentecost in the church. It's also known as the birth of the church. The Holy Spirit, now as then, burns with a fire and a wildness that cannot be contained. Welcome to worship. I'm Denise Davis Taylor in diaconal ministry with St. Paul's United. This church is an affirming church, affirming the beauty and value of all people. And we are grateful to meet on the Territory Six land, the traditional lands of the Nakota Sioux, the Dene, the Cree, the Blackfoot, and the homelands of the Métis people. Um, Holy Spirit is moving in Swahili. Um, tunasema roho mtakatifu shuka na utembe. Moyo mtukufu atambula. Moyo mtene urukufamba. Moyo mtukufu kurukutira mfi. Moyo likwera aliona atambula. L'esprit saint est en mouvement. El Espíritu Santo se mueve. Shengshen Jianglin. Святой Дух наполняет. And in my first language, that is the Kikuyu language, uh, we say Rohomu Deru uh, Shuka Na We Atarariye. Rohomu Deru Shuka Na We Atarariye. Um, so, thank you so much, friends and uh, Span family. Ah, uh, y'all have a beautiful day. Bye bye. Holy Spirit is moving. Spirit, come into our lives. Holy Spirit, make us truly wise. Give us a spirit of wisdom and understanding heart. Give us a spirit of knowledge and lead us to truth holy spirit come into our lives holy spirit make us truly wise give us a spirit of courage and judgment that is wise give us a spirit wonder and of all holy spirit come into our lives holy spirit make us truly wise spirit of love and compassion give hope to all the poor spirit justice and mercy come open every door holy spirit come into our lives holy spirit make us truly This year, we are working together to control and stop the spread of the COVID virus, and it has forced us into a new way of living. 
for Jesus' disciples at the time of the Pentecost, they were moving into a new way of being. The story of Pentecost has much wisdom to offer us in these times. For my Bible reading today, I'm going to be reading from Acts, section 2, verses 1 to 21. The Holy Spirit comes at Pentecost. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in each other's tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Now they were staying in Jerusalem, God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment, bewilderment because each one had heard them speaking in his own language. Utterly amazed, they asked, are these not all the men who are speaking Galileans? Then how is it that each of us hears them in, our, in his own native language? Parthians, Meds, and Elamites, residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and parts of Libya near Cyrene. Visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. We hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own tongue. Amazed and perplexed, they asked one another, what does this mean? Some, however, made fun of them and said, they have had too much wine. Peter addresses the crowd. Then Peter stood up with the 11, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Fellow Jews and all of you who live in Jerusalem, let me explain this to you. Listen carefully to what I say. These men are not drunk as you suppose. It's only nine in the morning. No, this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days and they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the heaven above and signs on the earth below blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Thank you, everybody. Stay safe. These months of isolation have really changed the way I experienced the passage of time. As people have relaxed into this waiting for the strategy of isolation to do its work of stopping the spread of virus, it has opened up space for change. The old Welsh hymn based on Isaiah 43 says, when through fiery trials your pathway shall lie, my grace all sufficient shall be your supply. The flame shall not hurt you. I only design your dross to consume and your gold to refine. The process of transformation that Jesus was constantly talking about was a Greek word called metanoiet, which means a change of heart and mind. It's an internal transformation that, um, of, of motivation and intention. It's not an external set of values that can be judged by outside authorities and given punishment or rewards for in the name of God. The God Jesus was teaching about was a love that burns with passion and desire. It's a flame that could not be extinguished even by the death of Jesus. It's a love that is reflective in the creative process in creation itself. The process of growth and healing through loss and renewal. The love that is a fire that burns so harsh or so brightly in people that they will do amazing things so that they can live from a place of love. The refugees who have made St. Paul's their home 
their faith home, have been persecuted and exploited in many ways where they came from because they were transgender or bisexual or gay or lesbian, because of war or natural disasters or poverty or religious difference. All of these and more reasons caused them to leave everything, everything that they were familiar with so that they could be and share who they are. They are driven by a longing that demands of them courage and strength. This virus and the shutting down of our economy to stop it has opened up all kinds of possibilities for the Holy Spirit to move. It has incited companies to decide that their workers really don't need to uh, go back to work in the office necessarily even when the isolation ends. The Holy Spirit is popping up in all kinds of creative and new ways, like online concerts and beautiful songs and music created in many different locations. Technical geniuses who are able to pull together videos, many different videos, to create one beautiful choral presentation. And it keeps moving outward, this Holy Spirit of ours, into cre these creative acts sustain those who are working on the front lines with the sick and the dying in often horrible circumstances. It inspires them to keep on doing what they do best. The Holy Spirit it keeps on moving. Creativity cannot be legislated or controlled. It comes from that place of a burning love or a passion or suffering or stillness even that opens up the possibility for us to change, to be different. I'm not saying that this virus is a good thing. I'm just saying that in nature, growth and healing always arise from suffering and death and loss and renewal. By the way, this isn't my idea. It's um, Franciscan brother Richard Rohr who wrote this. The other fabulous and wondrous thing about the Holy Spirit moving is that it changes how we look at the world. It opens our hearts to see suffering, inequity, privilege, exploitation. That burning love desires and aches for the change, to stop unnecessary suffering, to create a new world. It burned in Jesus, and he called his dream the kingdom of God. I like to think of it as the kingdom of God, a dream of beauty, and wellness and opportunity for all beings, all people, all creatures, great and small, all plants, the water, the earth, this, the planet that we call home. This time we are living in, as many others before, we're, before it, is causing destruction and the Holy Spirit keeps moving. Those flames that burned around the heads of the disciples at Pentecost that caused them to speak in different languages and understand them, now brings the possibility to clear away all that destroys our well-being. The Holy Spirit is moving to change systems we thought couldn't be changed. Circumstances that we must endure we are enduring. The Holy Spirit is changing us from the inside to transform the world outside. For others, if not for ourselves. How is the love of the Holy Spirit moving in you? How is that fire refining you? Come from the 
The Holy Spirit is moving. Shall we pray? Like the rush of wind in these spring days, the Holy Spirit is moving. Like the crash of rain, the Holy Spirit is moving. Like the awe-inspiring colors coming out around us, the Holy Spirit is moving. The massive clouds overhead, stories high, towering like urban landscapes. The Holy Spirit is moving. Unfamiliar voices at the checkout counter, muffled by masks. The Holy Spirit is moving. A quick but warm greeting at the hospital door. The Holy Spirit is moving. Move, Holy Spirit, move. Move into our hearts, bring us courage. Move, Holy Spirit, move. Move into our health and make us strong. Move alongside our politics and make us compassionate. Move into our minds and make us patient. Move alongside our wisdom and make us generous. Move into our hospitality and let us see you in every child of God, every beloved one, every person, every person, even when we don't approve even when we don't understand, even when, even when. Ah, oh, Holy Spirit, we see you move. You have brought forgiveness where we knew only bitterness, possibility where we lived in regret, a big picture where we were narrow thinkers. Fill us with the awe-inspiring faith that rests in familiar words, the words Jesus taught, the words we are bold, oh yes, we are bold to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever amen
My soul cries out with a joyful shout that the God of my heart is great. And my spirit sings of the wondrous things that you bring to the ones who wait. You fixed your sight on the servant's plight and my weight as you did not spur. So from east to west shall my name be blessed could the world be about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fire and the dust of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is as bound as you Oh, I am small, my God, my all, you will create the like me. And your mercy will last from the depths of the past to the end of the age to be. The proud to shame and to those who would fall in. You will show your might, put the strong to flight, for the world is about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice, justice wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near and the world is about to These times have put many of us in very uncomfortable places. Trust that even and especially there, the Holy Spirit is moving in you and with you, pulling you through, carrying you even. God's love is always moving us toward an unfolding future that will be good. Amen.